for this project. Um, every single donation that we get, whether it's 26 cents, we like to say a, you know, a quarter and a penny, um, an Abe, uh, you know, a George and an Abe for Teddy makes a difference. I mean, it really does. I, I feel like this project only works if the people of North Dakota want it. I, I really do. I don't think that this can be a top down project. It has got to come from the community up. I, I think of it. You know, to make a tortured metaphor, it's 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 we're, we're planting roots. The roots are in North Dakota, and this is something that can grow. And you'll have a pilgrimage in Medora, but the platform for civic dialogue, for leadership, for conservation, for citizenship, for bringing people to Theodore Roosevelt National Park and experiencing you know we with seventy five thousand uh, square feet of interpretive space inside the museum. We'll have seventy five thousand acres in Theodore Roosevelt National Park. That I, I, I want people to go to trlibrary.com and donate. I want them to be a part of this. I want them to feel like this is their project. I mean, I, I mentioned Dakota Attitude. I mean, it was I heard your show, and yeah. I literally went to Zambros and bought a copy. By the way, not the only person doing that. Um, <laughs> Good. So, they, so we helped Jim you, out. Yeah, helped Jim out. He, yeah. should be, he should be selling them. Very, uh, yeah. I got a call from somebody in the Combine last night. He wants two for yeah. his mother. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, they're, they're running out at Zambros, so you're going to have to go to his website pretty Good. soon. I mean, it, you know, but I read those stories. I read the stories from Medora, and I, I heard grit, resilience, determination, mm-hmm. hard work, ethic. The belief that we have more in common than we do apart, that, that you, you, you love and trust yeah. your neighbor. And those are North Dakota values. They, they need to, they're American values, right? So yeah. we, we, if we get behind this as a, as a state, we're going to have an impact on the country and the world. I'm, I'm going to get to markets here, and then I've got one more question before you. Uh, but, but let's head to Sarah Heinrich and find out what's going on in our market. Sarah? Well, it's been a tough day in the green market. We do see cattle in the green right now, but new crop November soybeans are down 15 and a quarter at 9.99. January at 10.02, down 16 cents. December wheat's down three quarters at 5.32. March at 5.45, down three quarters. December corn down a nickel at 3.63. March at 3.72, down a nickel and a quarter. November feeder cattle up 25 cents at 1.41.90. December live cattle up 20 cents at 1.11.40. Well, December lean hogs are down a dollar at 63 dollars and 35 cents. With your markets, I'm Furman Ranch Director Sarah Heinrich for the News and Views Radio Network. Thank you, Sarah. Now I'm going to use uh, the the example and abuse the uh, abuse the whole I'm a grandfather thing. Uh, I talked about Tanley being in the fourth grade and what she would see if she's in there. Now let me ask it this way. When would Tenley be able to be in there? What grade will she be in? Well, um, we hope to open our doors in 2025. That's the current plan. And if we can ambitiously get there sooner, we will aim to do so. 2025 is pretty aggressive, though. Pretty aggressive, but, you know, we're ambitious. We have vision. We want to get this message out to the world. And So you say, know. say you have the money, okay, mm-hmm. let's, uh, and, and you say, okay, we're shovel ready, put the hard hats on, let's take the picture, and let's rock and roll. How long after you break ground will it take? Depending on the North Dakota weather, uh, uh-huh. we're looking at two years of construction. So we hope to shovels hit dirt the end of 2021, early 2022. And are you prepared to borrow money to do this? We would prefer not to. I mean, that is always an option, and that's done quite a lot in these projects. But if we can get the private philanthropic support that we need, we'd prefer that it come from the people. Okay. Uh, Obviously, we've talked about upkeep. We've talked about design, both inside and outside. A lot of people texting in, and I'll just generically say this. They're very interested in the project. They are. TRlibrary.com. Yep. Join us. Get in the arena. TRlibrary.com. You bet. And we will link that to this podcast. If you want to make sure you share anybody, go to joelhighcamp.com. We'll do this again. Okay, Ed? It was a pleasure, Joel. Amy, thank you so much. All right. When we come back, where can you be tested for COVID?